Leo. Welcome back to Omkara Tarot. And let's do a love read for you now. Leo, these are general collective readings. Will not resonate with all of you out there. Take what works for you, okay? Leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Leo and send them the messages they need to hear the most about their love life now. Thank you. So Leo, we're going to start with an angel blessing card to see how my angels are going to bless this reading and then we'll start your tarot. So my angels, blessing, guidance, advice or a message for this reading please. For my Leo gang, blessing, guidance, advice or a message for my Leo. This one. Okay Leo, let's put the rest back. And the card I have here for you is emotions. Okay, let's put this card here and let's see why these deep emotions are bubbling up inside you. Or this could be for your cross watcher too, right? So uh, let's start your tarot and see what's going on. Welcome back all my subscribers. Thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you for all your kind comments, your likes, your shares, also your huge support to the channel to keep it up and running. I'm very, very grateful Thank you. And if you're new here, Leo, we of course we welcome you to to join uh, the Omkara family. Subscribe to the channel. Become part of us. We welcome you in as well. So newbies, let me explain this. I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side is for you. One side is for your person. And uh, in the center, I'll have some mutual energies, guidance, etc. Uh, for the duration of the reading, I will be mentioning uh, this side as person A, this side as person B. Uh, so you decide which side you resonate best with, okay? And here are your mutual energies. If any of you are looking for a private reading, Leo, you can reach me. My email is in the description box below. And bottom of my deck, I do see the Ten of Wands in reverse. Shedding down old burdens. That's excellent to see. So let's see, uh, person A first, five of wands, page of pentacles, the sun, ace of swords, two of swords, and the judgment. Okay, let's see person B now, the tower, king of pentacles in reverse, two of pentacles, the chariot, the world card, and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so there's been a little bit of a conflict here. Let's start with Person A's energy. Uh, of course, we'll clarify all the uh, all the cards later. I'm going to do some dialogue message cards as well. So from the uh, first look that I have is that somebody doesn't want to fight. They'd rather end something if they're not clear about it uh, than to have any kind of a conflict here. Um, where person B is concerned, they know they've done something which has not been right. They do want to, they don't want to be back and forth or arguing or anything like that. In fact, they want to move ahead, they want to start a brand new chapter, but they're a little afraid that, you know, if they do move forward now, they may just get rejected. So let's take some dialogue message cards from the masculine in this dynamic towards the feminine. So when I say masculine and feminine, I don't mean the man and woman, Leo. What if this was a, a same-sex uh, relationship? Then the just as just for that's just for an example, right? Uh, it's masculine energy. The person who's embodying the masculine energy is the one who's a little more aggressive, takes charge of things, um, bolder, I guess. And the, the the feminine energy would be the one who's more nurturing, kind, more emotional. So that's how I differentiate between the masculine and the feminine. But um, you'll have to decipher who you are. Are you the divine masculine in this dynamic or the feminine? So I've got three cards from the masculine side. Let's take three from the feminine as well. One more. Okay. All right. So that's the feminine's energy and that's the 
masculine energy. And I'm going to take three more of uh, the secret confessions as well. Okay. So let's start with the masculine energy. What they, what would they like to say in this dynamic here, uh, Leo? I have a hard time focusing on you when I'm trying to build an empire. Okay, so maybe this person has uh, is kind of didn't uh, they did something right? They were too focused on their money, their uh, work, and they didn't give enough time to the feminine here, and they now. You know, they have this, this is what they're wanting to tell the feminine. is like, you know, I have a hard time focusing on you, especially when I'm trying to build an empire here. Okay, second card. I've been hurt so badly. I don't know if I can really love again. So yes, they're hiding behind the mask of their work or not having enough time because uh, maybe they've had uh, some kind of a past relationship, Leo, who which hasn't gone uh, gone right now leo you could be the masculine in this dynamic you could be the feminine i don't know but if you're the one who's been over busy or trying to hide behind your work and not give attention to you know your partner of course it could be vice versa as well so like i said the second card says i've been hurt so badly i don't know if i can really love again and uh, yes i'm not focusing on you because hey i'm busy i don't have time so that's the excuse they're giving I was taught that I had to earn love by pleasing people. Maybe they feel pleasing people means uh, trying to be richer or having more material things. But I don't think they've got the, they've been taught right, I think. If they would just give time to the divine, I mean the feminine here, um, I think things would have gone much better. The feminine says here, I have faith that we will be together again. I'm holding space for you. Take your time. Do what you have to do. I'm holding space for you. Maybe we'll meet again and we'll be together again. Do you really believe I'm the one for you? So the, the feminine is not really sure because the masculine is not showing the feminine that uh, they're important. So there's a little bit of insecurity on the feminine's uh, part here where she's um, they're asking that, do you really believe that I'm the one for you? Next card. I don't feel threatened by the karmics anymore. They're just playing their role. So I think uh, the feminine is kind of uh, balancing their emotions out here. Sometimes they're feeling a bit insecure. Sometimes they feel, okay, it'll be the way it'll be. And whatever's going on, let it happen. And when it'll happen, I'll hold space for my masculine. If you're meant to be together, we'll be together again. Let's see these confession cards now. I have commitment issues. Now that, that was, that's the real problem, I think, of the masculine here who's trying to hide behind building that empire and not ready for, not showing their attention or time, saying, hey, I have commitment issues. I wasn't ready for this connection because they've had a bad experience maybe in the past and uh, now that they've met this feminine, they, even though they like this feminine, um, and they know, they're saying, you're all I ever you are all I ever need to complete me. So heart of hearts, this person knows that uh, all, all this empire building and money is just uh, an excuse. Basically, they have commitment issues. They are afraid. They don't, they're not ready to you know, start something new. They've had some heartbreak in the past. And yes, um, that's what's going on, I think, Leo here. So both of you are kind of dealing with emotions here. So let's start with the energies of person A. Uh, what's this five of wands spirit for person A? I think there's been a kind of a unspoken conflict between the two of you, spoken, unspoken, I don't know. Uh, but uh, person A, who I think is the feminine here, uh, has not even waited for an apology and uh, kind of ended this. They feel, what's the point of fighting for something which is eventually going to backfire on me? I'd rather be go happy on my own. Mm, even though, 
even though there is a lot of love and the, the romance the feeling of romance the feeling of happiness was there when they met person b they were they were never given any clarity they were never given any clarity and they could not make a decision uh, they couldn't understand is the masculine really interested in me or are they playing games or is there somebody else and uh, they felt what's the point of being you know in in this dynamic which is not going to go anywhere ace of uh, sword spirit in reverse i think what person a just wanted to do was get out of uh, you know just be in a calm happy space and not have to worry or think and uh, be upset all the time now they kind of blindfolded themselves they're saying hey this is not going to work out even though i don't want to let go of this person completely i feel they're a bit self-centered the bit they're a bit selfish and uh, i have i think a person on person a's side who's passing judgment on on to person b to say okay i am going to take some time out and whenever it will be it will be yes uh, i do feel that we can have a lot of happiness together but uh, maybe whenever the free birth happens it happens i'm not going to overly stress myself over this okay i'm not going to be um, troubled or stress myself over it so person a is kind of confused in this uh, you know, dynamic i feel even though i think they enjoyed person b's company they were not clear and they are switching half into thinking that this uh, person b is a bit selfish self-centered a bit egoistic maybe and also thinking but yeah they are happy they are they make me happy they're romantic they're sweet we have good conversations mm, this does make me happy so right now i think there's a little bit of restless energy here uh, where uh, somebody is not really sure of how and when this can ever happen right a uh, person b who i think is the masculine here knows they they've done something to sabotage this relationship they know they've kind of um, done something which was unethical they were un they came across as a bit ungrounded maybe and feeling a little foolish about it as well right maybe they were not making a decision maybe they were juggling maybe they maybe they were not giving time uh, maybe they were not there to kind of uh, meet up maybe or reunite or not spending quality time with person a now this person i think really does want to move uh, towards person a they want to heal what was broken they want to heal this broken heart they want to start a brand new chapter uh, maybe not uh, a committed relationship at the moment since they have a little bit of fear of commitment but they do they do want to come out of this very stuck position they find themselves in uh, they've realized that hey it's i have to begin somewhere right so let me at least move towards healing this connection uh, but they're a bit unsure now they are a bit unsure they're not sure whether um, they will be accepted or not they there is a bit of delay going on here because they are suspecting that if they go towards person a now with an offer it may get rejected because maybe some false promises were made which were not kept so person b is a little worried about that now they are yes they're fearing that they've been let go of they're fearing that this is all over and uh, they've been released by person a okay let us from what i see person a is a bit confused right now they are kind of going back and forth in their mind to say is this sweet or is this ugly i don't know so i'll, I'll just wait it out and see where it goes the person b is now realizing oh my god i did something i shouldn't have and uh, yeah you heard what i said okay so let's see your mutual energies four of cups the magician and the king of cups yes yeah, somebody was uh, now somebody is feeling a little bored now i think one or both parties here are by themselves and not having the best best feeling feeling rejected dejected bored now there's no nowhere, nowhere nothing to look forward to maybe 
um, why because somebody was trying to be a trickster here they were trying to create illusions which were not true um, maybe there was no equal give and take in a relationship and that kind of led to things not coming back together the whole idea here I think Leo was somebody didn't want to be stressed out somebody didn't want to get into a relationship because they had just come out of something very painful They'd all, they were still kind of healing and coming out of a past relationship and they are still kind of uh, healing themselves from their past uh, this masculine whoever this masculine is even if they feel love in their heart they feel it really difficult to show their emotions here and um, yeah they're still dealing with their emotions here so they try and hide it they try and hide it look at this uh, king of cups he's got a cup of love in one hand a bow and arrow in the other so they are giving out mixed signals and that's the reason this dynamic is the way it is knowing that they have a good thing in front of them they are trying to sabotage it self-sabotage it yeah king of cups spirit so right now I don't think anything is happening here Leo nobody's really got the strength to make that choice and take this relationship forward because I think um, person B is still healing and still trying to find strength in their emotions and person A is very confused right now they don't know whether they've met somebody who's a who's a good one or the bad one so they kind of just releasing it and saying hey listen it'll come back when it has to come back I'm not going to waste my time feeling restless or doing anything um, let it be for now kind of a thing it'll happen when it happens okay so that's all I have for you Leo I hope this made some sense to somebody out there um, till next time then love and light take care namaste